today, the Dow by almost 250 points. This loss of confidence on Wall Street killed by more gridlock in Washington. After the committee gave up, President Obama came to the White House briefing room to lay the blame on Republicans. There are still too many Republicans in Congress who have refused to listen to the voices of reason and compromise that are coming from outside of Washington. They continue to insist on protecting $100 billion worth of tax cuts for the wealthiest 2% of Americans. Many of you felt there was plenty of blame to go around, and with Congress already facing all-time low approval ratings, you let them have it, telling Washington exactly how you feel about the super committee's super failure. You need to drop the rhetoric.